Hey and welcome back to another video of testing different pipe code tools. In today's video, we're gonna test Emergent and you're gonna build three different applications with it. So it will be X and Twitter, ChatGPT and Spotify. And by the end of the video, you will see the result by yourself and judge whether to use this tool or not. And also don't forget to answer the question that I'm gonna leave it by the end of the video. Without any further to do, let's go directly and build the first project. So this is the login page. It come with a two, four different ways of login. So it will be Google, GitHub, all, or default email and password. So I'm gonna choose Google. So as the default or like these days way of pipe code tools, there will be a prompt area or text area. For the new and a fresh account, there will be up to 10 credit. And then this is like a community showcases. You could build AI apps, digital sidekicks, landing page, hack and play and so on. So the first or before that, there will be also different agent. You could uh, choose from them. So the first one will be creating uh, X. Can you create X mobile application? And that should be enough. Well, let's give it a test. Let's show you that will be taking one to two minutes in the building the application and then workflow what's happening actually. So it's written back what's the plan and what's going to happen. For example, will be a requirement, uh, start implementation, X mobile application. Did you mean different things? Before I start planning and implementation, can you clarify what do you mean by X mobile application? I think, yeah, this should be this one. I meant this one okay and then you can see how many credit now being consumed assumption maybe could be up to five credit in total and then this is before i start clarify some core feature essential feature like including just to log in create post tweets and then additional feature you would like to like unlike and so on so just skip the login and sign up i sign up Okay, so those are like the initial results. So you could open it into new tab. Let's go there. As you can see, it's have the same almost layout as the X or X Twitter. They should be like tweets and then some messages. Could I write some comment tweet? Yes, like, that's good. Test. Uh, there's like notification here is not working. Follow, unfollow. That should be enough. Explore. Notification messages. Navigation is seems to work yep. more so on. But yes, that was good for the initial and then it give you like what's gonna work at the moment. There will be for example some initial and more steps if you would like to blow. That's work fine. Let's go there, go back. Now we could create something else like a new create chat GPT loan. That's also should be fine, but this time let's go to the fast and flexible. Again, this will be the same waiting list or waiting messages such as what's gonna be happen and so on. If we go back here and read more about, for example, what's really actually happened during the build, for example, to create files and then use some agent prompt uh, tools and those are also the Python. All right, let's go back here. Now we ask it to build the church pity clone. That will take a moment to generate. Okay, here we're back again. And that also do the same thing. Give you a summary and then some messages. What's really happening? You could go and see what's actually happening behind the scenes. You could take that one and also, for example, we could all back for example and so on give it test and those two apps you have the mock data so there's no actual backend and database in you so let's give it test yep and this is like changing between the model changing between the chat start new chat another message all right so it seems to work fine both those two apps and as the same as other tools, you could go and share that one or go and deploy the application to production. Maybe 
download it also or get just save it in the github and so on so both two cases are working fine and there's like other showcases here for example this one floppy bird and there in some other games has been used it do you think that will be useful for building your prediction oh not yet let's give it a test for the third application and this time we'll clone that spotify let's give it a time to generate and go back after that and this is the spotify result so let's open to view on tap for the moment to upload all of those images but let's say if i select something okay in terms of visualization which is good not that bad at all but far away from being perfect so if i hit something here nothing happened but some missing maybe the actual data let's make it not reliable let's go navigation yep navigation seems to be working but it have a lot of images that's really make it so lazy to load maybe have done a good job in terms of some for example a media name and then maybe artist or playlist itself image and then timeline and icon i'll rate that one as six out of ten maybe maybe five seven so about that one not to be eight or ten maybe or nine but in total it has been generated like three different application under 30 minutes is good and better from other tools and it has been about using almost like half of a credit for those three different application if i go more deeply that's meaning we'll use more of those credit for a single application if you would like to make it more perfect but in summary do you think that is a good tool to be used uh, just for demo or maybe some learning about your own a project are you interested in comparing this tool with other tools such as replit firebase studio and some other tools just let me know in the comment section and that was uh, everything in this video don't forget to like share subscribe thank you for watching see you next one